Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad, son, and today I'm going to be doing, well, this evening, I'm going to be doing the mixture that I promised I would do of Vocations Imperial Vanilla Stout and Imperial Maple Stout. Both of them 10%, both of them barrel aged, um, or bourbon barrel aged, I'm assuming the same barrel. Uh, I'm only doing this so that you don't have to. Um, and I'm also curious because I know you could do it with the Morello Sour and the Morello Stout. And that one was really nice. The sun just really in my eyes. Um, so I'm just curious if it can do it with this. Uh, if you can't, you know. Uh, I obviously don't. If you can, then you know. And you can give it a go yourself, see what you think. I've got about the same measurements. I don't exactly know for sure. I'm just guessing. So this is the vanilla and this is the maple. If you've seen the videos, they're both at about room temperature. Um, I'm just gonna pour this one into this, uh, give it a quick swill and see what it look, see what it tastes like and all that stuff. So let's give it a go, shall we? I'll, just, I'll do it over the sink so I don't pour any. So I don't lose any. Okay. So. There it is, the mixture of vanilla and maple imperial stout. Um, like the other two, just give it a quick spin. Like the other two, it is jet black, there is no head. Um, I forgot to mention in the last two videos about the alcohol line, there is one. Um, this one still has it, obviously, both 10 percenters. It's the smell and the taste you want to get to, so let's give it a smell, shall we, see what we can smell. Ooh, barrel. So, you can smell that barrel. <laughs> I don't think I've got any nose hairs now. Um, that bourbon barrel that it's been sat in and aged in, it comes out, it's it's lifted a lot more than in the previous two. The last bit, the maple one and the vanilla, couldn't really smell it. You, the vanilla one, it was just vanilla and chocolate. The maple one was maple and roasted malts. This... This uh, concoction um, is barrel. It smells like strong bourbon barrel smell. There is a bit of roasted malt, a little bit of the vanilla and a little bit of the maple, but the barrel is the main smell there, and it's interesting. So let's get a mouthful for body and carb, shall we? Now I don't know if this is because I left it um, and they're both at about room temperature, but both beers didn't have a full body. They were both medium-ish full bodied. This is full, it's thick, it's creamy, velvety, smooth, um, silky, that kind of body. The previous, uh, the maple one I believe, uh, no, the vanilla one was oily and slick and like that that sort of sticky sweet maple one I wasn't exactly the same but it was kind of similar this one is not really like that at all it's smoother it's it's nicer it's easier to drink it's just it just goes down way better which is interesting so let's get the big old taste, which you're waiting for. So, cheers. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, it keeps going. It just keeps going. That is, that's good. If you've got this, if you've got these two drinks, please do do this. This is very good. Save about a third each and give it a nice mix. It's very, very much worth it, it really is. Um, so. Okay. 
so it starts off with the barrel, the bourbon barrel, the nice boozy bourbon. Um, and then that's that flavour and that strong alcohol presence quickly, quickly goes. So you got your bourbon and this booziness in the cheeks and then tongue and then it goes it goes down your throat. That is strong and it's lovely. It then goes into a mixture of uh, vanilla and honey. Um, it's really, 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 really sweet. It's almost sickeningly sweet for me, at least. Um, honey, vanilla mixture, which is, it's almost like syrup. It's, it's that thick and that sweet. It's almost like syrup. just so much going on. Oh, each mouthful's different. <laughs> it really is. Oh, I really do hope you can get this. And I do hope you can you can try this at home. So, um, vanilla, honey, mixture. Underneath all that is the malts, the roasted malts. The, the, the barrel is still there. Just the tiniest bit. Um, but that is with the malt sort of takes the sweetness down like I mentioned in the vanilla stout um, the vanilla stout was really sweet and the malt sort of took it down a little bit just to take that that sweetness off the edge this is pretty much the same except pardon me you've got I'm assuming the same malts and the same barrel but two different versions of sweet so you've got the the vanilla and the honey maple syrup stuff um so it's it's, it's really really sweet um i never mentioned it in the last two videos if you're into if you're not into sweet stouts you probably won't like them and you're definitely not gonna like but if you like sweet stuff if you like sweet stouts and sweet and just chocolate and oh, it's full of it It's just so good. Each mouthful is different. Each mouthful is a blend, or it's one one of them, or it's the other. It just stands out. It's nice. It's, it's different, and I think I do think Vocation should make this as a drink itself. It's that good. It is that good. Um, vanilla, honey, chocolate, roasted malts, booze. You just it. You, you're not failing with this. This is. A class drink. I I think I really do think this is just up there, and the fact that they didn't recommend you to mix this, and I've just sort of had to do this myself to see if it works. I don't think they've tried, and I think they should. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I think this is it's full flavor. You're gonna have to try this for yourself to see what I mean. Each mouthful is different. Of flavor wise you either get a mixture of this vanilla and chocolate and honey and maple or you're getting the maple beer or you're getting the vanilla beer or stout sorry but it's it's that it's you're getting one or the other or you're getting a mixture and it's so good it's so worth the try so vocations imperial vanilla and imperial maple stout um this this one i gave a 10 this one i gave a nine i'm not gonna do uh a rating based on as like an average for the two i'm gonna give this a 10 this is i i really 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 enjoy this <laughs> i can't give it enough praise it's so good um i'm not gonna knock it down a mark because vocation never said do this or don't do this this is just my own thing um, but if you have done a mixture of these two and created this little concoction this little Frankenstein of a drink please let me know let me know what you think of it uh, if you like it if you don't if you've not done this 
Uh, please get these beers before they sell out and give it a go. Try it yourself. Just it's it's worth it. About a third each, so you've got about two thirds of a drink. It's definitely worth a go. Or if you just want to get two cans and just pour them in themselves, and you've got a full six sixty drink, do whatever you want. I wouldn't recommend that though, because that 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 would knock me on the ass. Two a third each, two thirds of a drink. That's about. Or two thirds of a pint altogether, that is fine with me. So, yeah, if you've done this, please let me know. Let me know what you think if you like it. If you don't, if you've not done this, um, I'll leave the location website down below. I recommend that you do. I really recommend that you do. I think it's just, I think it's brilliant. Um, yeah, and the, I don't know if they're going, if they're selling out or if they're just remaking them or not because I've had problems buying them sold out and then they brought them back and all this stuff so get them while you can um if you like the video thumbs up thumbs down all that usual stuff if you want to subscribe consider doing so because the show must go on etc etc so on and so forth and i'll see you later bye